Welcome to another micro tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to build stables. Due to the changes in 1.6 we now have horses, hooray for that! And since we have horses we need a place for them to stay. So I'm going to show you how to build this kind of stable design here. For any of you who are fans of the new clay block it won't appear, I hate it. At least for buildings it is way too smooth for, for my, in my opinion. So you won't see that in here. Um, it's mostly going to use already existent blocks, except for hay, but nevertheless. The tutorial is quite long, so I'm just gonna sk skip the skaboobling right here and just gonna jump right into the tutorial. Have fun. So one thing which is kind of important for this build, or which helped me a lot constructing this building, was that I constructed the interior first and then did the exterior, because for a stable it was very important for me to have a functional interior and then simply to make a pretty exterior so that it's both functional and beautiful. At least it is in my opinion. So what I want to start with is the interior, so at, le at least the, the sketches for the interior. So, first of all make a pillar of four blocks high, then leave three blocks free and make another pillar. Once again three blocks free and another pillar. Then leave seven blocks free from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and place another pillar here. And simply repeat the same thing on the other side by leaving three blocks free in the middle. And then you want to simply make cross beams to the other side, which is going to work as a kind of reinforced ceiling for um, the, the attic, which is going to be up here. Um, this was one thing which was suggested on my Facebook fan page after I asked you guys what kinds of uh, things belong to a stable. And this was one suggestion to make an attic for yeah, be, being able to store... Um, uh, the little hay and stuff. So and and sometimes sometimes I, I sometimes I listen to people. Sometimes I listen to what what people have to say to me. Um, but most of the times I don't because I I simply don't speak idiot. But, but yeah, life lessons with Madness sixty four, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so what I did here while talking gibberish was what I'm just gonna explain to you right here on this side because the sides are simply gonna be well not copied, but they're simply gonna be the same on this side, like they're right um, like they on the other side, which is what I mean. So, uh, you wanna leave one block free and make another pillar of four blocks high, same thing on this side and of course on these sides, then two sideway logs like this and two corner pillars like this, and then you're just gonna continue connecting these. And what this is gonna leave us with is this fairly odd thing for my builds at least. So we're gonna end up with a wall of simply two blocks, um, yeah, a, a two block wide wall. And this is quite unusual for my builds, but in this build I kind of, I was skeptical in the beginning, but in the end I really liked the result, so this is simply what I did. So after you did that, make a pillar here, place um, a sideway lock here and here and over here and what I want to do on all these sides is to make a stairway on each side go up to the attic so I'm just going to do it like this and from now on uh, from now on I'm just going to do one side and the other side it's pretty much or it's not just pretty much it is the exact same thing so I'm just going to do this this side and this side over here and then, well, pretty much the exterior of the build is done. Okay, so first of all for this side I want to create an archway to get in. And since it's very important that you can ride into the, um, the stable itself, so um, I, I'm gonna leave the, the lowest point of the archway um, like three blocks high. So what I want to do for that is to place two stone brick blocks up here like this. Stone brick stairs, one regular here and one atop um, no, I'm not a top slab, um, uh, an upside down stair like this. And then on the upper stone brick like here, place another stone brick stair, placed upside down. Then, yeah, then simply two stone bricks on each side and then I'm just gonna take the stone brick slabs and place three of them up here and one as a top slab right here. 
Okay, so this is the archway, and this kind of yeah, the, this kind of missing block right here makes the thing look a little bit broader, even though it isn't. So it adds for a nice yeah visual effect. And um, then what I'm gonna do is to place one log here and one log uh, as a sideway log up here. And now I want to prepare the roof, and the roof is not on fire, as the Bloodhound Gang would suggest. Um, the roof is gonna start like this, so first of all one block additionally on each of those uh, corner stairs. And then on this side it's gonna be one block to the diagonal up, then two blocks sideway, and three blocks sideway, and then we're gonna go down on this side, like this. But on this side it's gonna be one additional block like this, then a pillar up here, so three blocks here, a sideway log, and then simply a diagonal line. Then, whoops, um, then a sideway log here, and then one log facing you, towards you, then one block to the diagonal, three more sideway logs, and then we're just gonna do the same thing over here like this, up three blocks here, one sideways, and connect them with one of the So this is the the general shape, so it's gonna be a kind of curved roof, which I like a lot of the, about this building. Um, and the last thing I wanna do about the frames, what I wanna do here is to kind of have an inlay um, right here. So this is gonna be the framework for this side. Oops like that. Okay. And this is pretty much what it looks like now, and now I simply want to add the walls and then the roof. So for the walls, I want to take spruce wood planks and place two like this. Uh, I, I decided to go with the spruce wood even though it kind of... I, I think it does not go well with the... Uh, or not too well with the logs because it's a similar color, yet it's a little bit different and doesn't really... well. Like if the wall is filled in like this, I don't, I don't really like it that much. But what I want to do is to have a separation here by taking stone brick stairs and placing them upside down. And as you may know, I hate it when like there's a transition be uh, or like if there's no transition between two different building materials. So I kind of want to have this quarter of a block missing from the co uh, from the upside down stairs like this, and then it's just gonna be. A stone brick block up here and the same thing is going to be repeated on this side and what I do, want to do here is now to leave this block free then place a stair, place another stair, place a top slab, stair, stair and now we'll be able to move up to the attic and the roof's going to be like this so we just barely get through here without hitting our heads against the roof which is a good thing I guess because otherwise you'd get dumb after going up here for few times and that would be unfortunate I guess so then we're gonna take birch wood and fill in the walls up here and I rarely use birch wood but I found it to be very nice for this kind uh, for this build since I wanted to use a lot of different uh, wooden materials because well it's a stable and I think that's that's kind of adding to the kind of uh, I don't know or what's what's the right word I'm looking for like the the farmland style that I would build a stable in I don't I don't exactly know how to describe it describe it but I simply wanted to, to wanted to use um, a couple of different materials made out of wood so uh, for the decorations let go let's go for the decorations already so let's take um, cobblestone walls and place two like this one in the corner do the same thing over here. And then you want to take spruce wood stairs and place two of them like this. Simply like to, since the colors are a little bit alike, um, what I did in earlier times was to place a stair like this, simply to have a nice connection. What you can do is, if you have the texture pick for it, to use the wooden texture, the wooden stairs like that. But since I'm building on default and default is awesome, let's just go with the spruce wood stairs. And one thing I also want to do is to take um, fences 
Let's just go, yep, yep. And these are gonna be the windows, but since it's a stable, I don't want to use windows, because windows were a material in medieval ages, which was really, like, glass was really valuable, and only the, the upper class were was even to, well, was even, yeah, able to, to buy it, to purchase it. So uh, we're just gonna use fences. And before the sun sets, we're just gonna take a few buttons and place them right here. And then we're just gonna continue with the roof. But since I'm an idiot, I forgot something and we're not gonna do the roof right now. At least not without taking fences and placing two of them like here. And then we're just gonna take any random blocks, place it here and take fence gates and place three of them up here. Now we're done with this side of the building and now we can go ahead and build the roof. For that, I wanna take oak wood stairs and place them as corner stairs right here. Also as corner stairs, whoops, up here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add the curve to the roof by taking slabs and place them, placing them like this. Then it's simply um, wood blocks. And then repeat the same thing over here. And once again up here. Like this, and then I'm gonna take um, wood, wooden stairs and place one upside down like this to have like yeah, this kind of roof finish. And let's do it like this on the other side as well. Whoops. Like here. And I forgot one block here. So corner stairs, corner stairs. Okay, and that's it for this side. So this is what the building looks like now, and I think, in my opinion, it looks pretty cool. I think it looks exactly how I would imagine a stable. And uh, now let's continue on this side. First of all, I'm just gonna do the roof as well, uh, which is gonna be oops, it's gonna be the same thing. So wooden blocks here, wooden half slabs here. And do the same thing here, and it's gonna be in the middle. Then wooden stairs like this, whoops, like this, a wood stair, and then the rest is gonna be once again stairs made into corner stairs. Stairs. Blank empty stairs. Well, that's another kind of stairs. Uh, okay. So this, and before continuing this, I'm simply gonna go ahead and, well, make this prettier. Okay, that is prettier. So now let's go ahead and build this side. Let's make this prettier. So on this side, you want to leave two blocks free, then continue to build this up here and place one log uh, facing towards you like this. The same thing is gonna happen here. And once you're done with that, we're simply gonna repeat what we did over here on this side. Only this time, the full block's gonna be here. And the window is gonna be here, so to the inside of this cabin for the horse. Um, like, this is, what, yeah, this is what, how we did it. And on this side, I wanna do it... So in this kind of section of the wall, I want to do it a little bit different. But first of all, let's continue doing it like this on this side as well. And over here, what I want to do is to have two windows here. So for that, I want to place two of the stone bricks like this. Two upside down stairs like this. And then we're just going to go ahead and take a spruce wood stair and place it regularly on the ground like this. So this looks about done once we take the fences and fill them in so the horses have enough fresh air and enough light shining into the cabins right here um, on one of the these two sides I want to add a kind of yeah pre-roof right here like to have at least um, like a storage, a temporary storage for, for example, hay that has been collected on the fields. 
So what I want to do for that is simply to make a pillar of three blocks height and connect these with one another. And then we're just going to go ahead and probably start with the top slab here, then go up and simply continue it like this. Put a top slab right here. And here, once again, it's stairs. So I kind of want to add the curved shape also to this part of the roof or uh, this part of the building, I mean. Then it's a once again top slabs right here, but I guess, yeah, let's keep this in the corner away. And over here, it's gonna be top slabs as well. And then one regular slab like this. So this kind of block, of course you could leave it, leave it like this, or maybe even take um, a cobblestone wall and place it on top of it like this. And I think in this case, <laughs> I think it's better that, to leave it like this than the previous example, but also you could simply take it like that. Do as you will, do as you will, I'm gonna do it like that. Okay, and this way you can kind of store hay right here, which has been just recently collected from the fields, or which will just, which is just the the first, like, kind of stock for the, for the horses inside. For up here, what I wanna do is to turn this block up here around so it looks like that then add two more um, two more locks like this so that we have a three by three hole right here fill that in like that and those two and the rest is gonna be fences like this and then we're just gonna need another button as said we are gonna need another button right here and I think I think I'm just gonna add another whoops another log right here yeah that that looks better much much better okay and on the side where I won't add this kind of pre-roof I'm just gonna leave it damn it misclick um, I'm just gonna leave it like this and put a button in front of it and also I'm just gonna do the same thing we did on the other side like this with the decoration, just to make the side look a little bit less plain than it would otherwise look. But since there's gonna be hay right here, we're just gonna leave it like that. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side, but with the small change that there isn't a pre-roof and then we're just gonna connect the roofs to one another. There we go, much prettier now. So now let's start with connecting the roofs. First of all, for this corner, you want to take a slab and place it like this. Then it's stairs, place two regularly and another one as a corner stair. Then continue on this position with two more, um, two more planks like that. And then it is four slabs. So this, these four. Do the same thing on this side so a slab three stairs two planks and four slabs again ah, damn it. okay then we're gonna continue over here and then after placing two more like this, I want to place slabs, damn it, to the inside. One here, one there, one there. So add one to each. Those two. And then it's another slab like this. And then we're going to continue. Then we're going to go up. So it's one plank here, one here there and there and then let's continue this line up here up until there's one block left and then it's three more planks so one here one there one there and then half slabs and this is the upper upper level and then well, let's take a plank. Okay, so this is the shape. This is the shape I had in mind. What you 
could do if it is easier for you to do is simply like to place um, to place a plank here two slabs three planks and then four slabs and and do the, this thing all the way up, up up until you reach it over here but I think um, at least well in my opinion this over here will look much better in the end and it will once again add a kind of um, a kind of curved shape to the roof yeah and now I'm just gonna go in here and do a little bit about the interior because in the end what I want to have is a cross beam on these two so these are the cabins and I want to add one block sticking out like this well, let's do it here it's brighter over here like that and then the ceiling of the attic I'm gonna make it uh, out of um, out of top slabs so first of all I kind of want to connect these so I'm just gonna make a cross beam here and here and then it's top slabs all the way over here this will leave us with this kind of look of course on this side once again there's gonna be a stair going up like this so this is what it'll look like in the end and now I'm simply gonna take fences oops, place two of them here and uh, 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 then I'm taking fence gates and one over here inside these boxes uh, you won't need like a, f a fence pole to um, to have a leash for the for the uh, for the animals. I would recommend placing a few of them outside. Also, what I like to do is to take cobblestone walls and fences, whoops, and place them on top of one another. Because if there's uh, like a cow or whatever animal you have, in this case, it would be a stable for horses. Um, you would still be able to have a leash and put it on top of here and it, it'll simply look a little bit nicer in my opinion than just to place the fence pole uh, on the ground and then just tie it up here so this is a nice way to do it okay and let's do the same thing to the inside here a fence gate and what I suggest here is to go up and then take well, pretty much do the same thing here. Planks. And then... Well, you can either do it one-sided like this, which will of course lead to a plain side on this one. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna go with it, so at least on one side it looks pretty. Of course, what you also could do is to place it like this. But yeah, yeah. You could do that. And I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, and you have to decide for yourself if you want this kind of extension back here or if you kind of simply want to close it off or whatever. I'd probably use, yeah, wood just to make it look a little bit nicer. And over here, I would pretty much do the same thing. So I'm going to place two upside down stairs and a fence. That's it. And that's the cabin for the horse. And the same thing, of course, here, and here, and here. Okay, just to make things a little bit nicer already, I randomized the ground a little bit. So as you can see, I just randomly plunked in a pattern of, well, the stone slabs, gravel, cobblestone, and smooth stone, just to simulate a ground that's been, yeah, often used, but still, uh, since the gates are open, still some grass is growing inside. Which is also nice for the for the horses or whatever kind of animals you're you're gonna cage in here. So um, yeah, and I added a few torches. Bear in mind that for the sake of realism, up here in the attic, it wouldn't make too much sense to have any torches or even only a few torches because 
its fire right next to, for example, hay, and that would incinerate really fast. So uh, keep that in mind. Not right now, they're just here for demonstrational sakes, so I can show you around here and you can see anything. So once again, as I said in the beginning, I kind of want to once again bring in this kind of curved shape here. And what, I, what I'm going to do for that is to place one block like this. No, wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh, one block, so uh, slabs like this. And then it's going to be top slabs for the rest. So this one row right here will be pretty much useless because if you want to put something above it, it's going to float. So uh, this is going to be useless, but I simply want to have this this room and, well, this, whoops, uh, um, this way it will look nice from below and at the same time it will have functionality for storing the hay. So for example, now you could just plunked it down, whatever. Well, maybe you shouldn't block the windows. But yeah, just place it random. I, I know that's not very, very nice, but uh, yeah. Just be more careful than I was just now. Um, gonna get rid of those after... Well, I'm just gonna fix those holes right here. It's, is it gonna... Is it getting dark? It's getting dark. Oops, and I fell. Uh, which is also one thing I wanted to add. Taking fences and placing them here so you can't fall down like I just demonstrated. How stupid people fall down ladders. Whatsoever. So let's just place the fences here and fill in the walls over here. No, no, no. Maybe, maybe just... Yeah, do the same thing to the inside as we did to the outside. So there's logs here, so we're just gonna place logs here. All right, and this one over here. Fantastic. Well, that is pretty much it. But now for the animals to be able to eat something. Or to drink something one thing you could do is to take cauldrons and place them down and simply empty a bucket of water in it so they can drink out of that even though in here the animals would probably just poop in it which wouldn't be too nice oh look at that we're too late for the sunset no romantic feelings today sorry oh, but look oh Many romantic feelings tonight. <sighs> Whatsoever. Another possibility that you could do. I'm just... Well, I'm not gonna go outside. Because it's dark and I don't like the darkness. Whatever. Um, what you could do to... Yeah, great. I threw that away. Okay. Um, for making animals able to drink is shape like this or you could also set this into the ground which also will look quite nice let's make it one broader um, like like this but this only looks nice if there's like one kind of material to the outside like for example if the border was to be like this that would look quite nice also um, you could just do it like that because uh, in, in this gap the for the farmer could just fill in some some grain and stuff or some hay and the animals would just eat out uh, out, out, of, out of there uh, but well the problem with that is that only only a few people will even recognize what it's supposed to be so I think the safest way is to do uh, this kind of shape or simply to take stone bricks and do the same kind of shape like, just set it to the ground. Like this, so very basic. And once again, I threw away the bucket of water. Like this. You have to decide for yourself. I kind of like this one because I know what it's supposed to be. Or I like this one. Because it could be also, it could also have the use of filling grains and wheat in in here and at the same time have water right here 
well. And that is pretty much it. So now you can take your horses and cows or whatever, place them inside here, and they'll be able to get something to eat, get something to drink. And if you place some poles like this to the outside, it will still look nice in the end uh, if, you, if you tie them up to there. And as I said, down here, I'm probably gonna just plunk down a few blocks of... Make it realistic. Ah, realism. Well, and as I said, that is pretty much it. So I hope you liked the tutorial and I hope you liked the design. And as always, please go to my Facebook fan page and maybe leave it a like, please. I would like that if you liked it. And also you could check out the Planet Minecraft pages for Kargith, my spawn, my spawn town, Cronport, and my castle. And yeah, with that, there's nothing really left to say for me, but after Madness 64, and as always, please rate, comment, subscribe, join the crew, become a mate today, do as you want, hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Ah, uh, damn it, how did I do it? How did I do it? Where do you have it? There we do we have it. There we have it. Do you even see it? No, you don't see it. Um, it's one block up, or two, two, oh, it's two, two, three, okay. So what I want to do is to take um, the slabs and place them in those corners. Then I'm gonna go ahead way and I missed it. I missed it.